What's going on everybody, your host AMF1534 here, welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo, the ultimate driving straight simulator! <laughs> I would have loved to have made that the driving, or the turning right simulator, but I mean, we're definitely not turning right. I couldn't make it the turning left simulator either, because uh, even though that is the side where the pits are on, I can't really turn left uh, in an area where there is no place to turn left, so we had to make it, we had to make it the driving straight simulator because it was factually accurate to do that. However, we're only going to have one more opportunity to have the, the, the coin term, the turning left simulator. The ultimate turning left simulator, by the way. Not just, not just the regular, not just the, not just the original turning left simulator, but the ultimate, the, the absolute top of the line turning left simulator. So, in, the only, the only way that I could possibly do it is when we come up to the end of this lap, I am going to uh, I'm going to make a faux intro that also will allow me to get the the ultimate turning left simulator out of the way, just so that we can we can have we can have that little that little moment you know and that little bonding moment between me and you and the turning of the left and everything. I'm in a really weird mood, you guys. I <laughs> I'm, I I feel so weird right now. I feel like I'm like not even connected to the universe right now. Um, Everything's just been really weird today. Like I had a really weird night of sleep last night, and then uh, just everything in the world of college sports, which is like my life pretty much, outside of you know video games and work and you know living the average life of a 27 year old. Uh, college sports is everything, and Oregon definitely lost to a team that lost to a Division II school earlier this season, and it makes me really sad inside. So that's what's going on. All right, here we go. We're gonna we're turning back the clock. What's going on, everybody? Your host, AMF1534, here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo, the ultimate turning left simulator! For the final time. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and I totally almost botched the shit out of that, too. That was almost really bad. I actually had to, like, hit the brakes to stop and turn. It would have been actually kind of funny if I would have tried to pull that off and I end up just, like, slamming into the wall. And I gotta, like, throw it into, like, reverse and I gotta, you know, do that whole thing. The ultimate turning left! Ah, oh, damn it! Alright, wait. It's the ultimate throwing it into reverse and backing up simulator. <laughs> it's the ultimate putting it back into drive simulator. And then it's the ultimate turning left sim Ah, see? That's what I was going for. It's all good. Um, oh! I, <laughs> I, got one, I got one thing that's gone well today. I was talking to a friend of mine. She's, uh, she's, she's at a hotel. Her family went on a vacation. And she's telling me about this thing that happened to her earlier, and it was so funny, but it's so awkward. Um, so she's like, you know, it's been like really like kind of cold and and like misty and foggy and shit all day today. Like, so I'm here at the hotel and I decided, you know, what, you know, it'd be a really good idea, go uh, go hit up the uh, the the hotel hot tub. Like that's that's where it's at. She's like, so I so I get down there. And uh, it's like one of those like fairly big sized one that's got like the the holding capacity of like 15 to 20 people or something crazy. She's like, but I got down there and there was like there was like you know 14 other teenagers in there. So I'm just so I was just like, oh, I don't want to like I can't kick them out, but I mean I don't really want to be in there with all of them at the same time. I was like, you should just tell them all to get the fuck out, you know? She's like, I can't really do that because there's like totally parents in there and. I'm not trying to, you know, deal with them giving me the whole, you know, the whole what for about that. So she's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was like, well, I mean, you might, you might just have to bite the bullet and and, uh, and just, you know, chill with them for a while. She's like, yeah, I mean, I guess it's worth it. It's gonna be comfortable anyways, no matter what. And so, and so I was like, oh yeah, tight, tight. And so I don't hear from her for a little while. It's probably, you know, 20, 20 minutes or so. <laughs> About the, the regular amount of time that anybody spends in a hot tub. Somewhere between, like, 15 minutes to a half hour. That's about, that's about you know, how long anybody's in there. Especially if you're, like, you know, kind of shooting the shit with people. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do, man. Talking, uh, just kind of sitting in a hot tub with, like, friends and just talking about random stuff. Or, like, one of the random old guys at the gym that he just, he's, like, super relaxing. And then he, he always ends up being the one that starts up a conversation with you. And like you kind of like you kind of don't really want to talk to him, but then you decide to do it just out of general, you know, general uh, kindness, anyways. And then he ends up being fucking awesome. I've had that happen like four or five times. 
Um, but I, but I, I'm getting away from myself in here. Um, so she ends up hitting me up later, and she's like, "I just saw the most uncomfortable thing that I think I've ever seen um, at a at a hotel before." And I was like, "I was like, what?" And I'm just sitting here like joking. I was like, "I was like, why? What happened? What did you see? Somebody getting like a handy J in there, or, or what?" She's like, "Yeah, it totally happened." I was like, "Oh no!" And I was like, I was like, what? Did, did they like not have the bubble jets on or something? She's like, oh no, they they had them on, kind of. But I mean, there was like 15 people in there, and so when you got people moving around, like it it disperses the bubbles, and you, you end up getting kind of just pockets of totally not clouded water, and everything's just like totally visible. And she's like, and I'm the worst part is I'm kind of like sitting like pretty close to these people, and uh, like people were walking by, so a couple people walked by to get out of there. And when they walked by it, like, cleared up the area, and I had just happened to look over, and uh, I noticed that, you know, there was a little bit of commotion going on, and I looked down, and, like, she's totally just jacking them off! Right there! In a hot tub filled with 15 other people! <laughs> it's so messed up! Oh, uh, she's like, I didn't say anything, but, oh my god, it was so uncomfortable. I was like, you should have said something like that. If that were me in there, dude, I would have totally said something. I would have been like... <laughs> I would have seriously like looked over at him and be like, "Are you seriously jacking him off in here right now?" Because you know, like, there's you know that there would be nothing worse for those two kids than trying to be bold and, and sneaky and getting away with a little motion like that when it's totally populated in there and having somebody find out about it. That would be that would be just like one of the lowest possible moments. Um, and then I would have been like, I mean, it's, you know, like, when people do that, like, if, if you can pull it off, then more power to you, man. Like, that's that's a risky, bold-ass move. And if you can do it, you know, if you can do it without anybody knowing, you know, what's going on, then, hey, more power to you, man. <laughs> whenever, whenever you can get in any situation, then, hey, that's what you gotta do. But, ah, oh, you get, I, I, I would have told him, I'd be like, look, I mean, I'm all down for you doing what you gotta do to, you know, to, uh... You know, saw down the uh, the discomfort. You know, I mean, when 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 you, when the balls are, are turning that that lovely shade of blue, I mean, you got to do something. And but I would have been like, look, if you're gonna do it, you gotta you gotta be more discreet than that, man. You you gotta be you gotta find a better way to hide it. Like you gotta be paying attention. You can't just be sitting there, you know, making it blatantly obvious that something's going on. Like you gotta you gotta be you gotta be nice and subtle with with the uh, with the movement of the extremities and not make it look blatantly obvious that you're just sitting there pumping the living god <laughs> out of it and having your entire arm moving like that's that's uh, that's novice shit right there man you got to you got to you got to know you got to know what's going on and it totally it totally reminds me of a time I've actually never told the story before and it po it totally popped into my head um it popped into my head while I was talking uh, to to my friend about this story it reminds me of when I, I think it was like I think I was like 17 or 18 years old. I was like seven, yeah, I was 17 or 18 years old, and I went to I went to the community pool with my friend Colby, and uh, it was during the summer, and it was really fucking hot out, and like we uh, like he and I had gone, and it was with uh, his girlfriend and like a whole bunch of her friends at the time, and there were just like a whole bunch of people there, and uh, and so you know it was really widely populated in the pool and like the hot tub most of the time, pretty much, and, uh, there were, like, people varying ages there, there were, like, people that were a little bit older than us, and a bunch of kids that were younger, and all this stuff, and they had, like, the diving board there, so, you know, there were always people just jumping in and out, and all this commotion going on, um, and I remember, I was just, like, I was kinda, I was kinda working on my diving a little bit, like, I'd always, growing up, I'd always been, like, super, like, super, uh, paranoid, about diving just because I was always afraid that like if I if I dove um, like one of two things would happen either a I dive uh, actually three things I'd either a I'd try to dive and I'd end up belly flopping which hurts like shit two um, I'd end up diving and like when I make contact with the water like it ends up hurting my face really bad um, just from like not putting my hands out and like not breaking up the water um, so that it you know makes the impact easier and then having that hurt really bad, or D, um, you know, 
I, um, I'd end up diving, and I'd dive really well, but the amount of force that happens on my entry would, like, make my pants fly off. And, like, that's totally happened to me before. I had a legitimate reason for that fear, because that totally happened once. And it was awful. Um, and it was when I was actually on a, I was on a, uh, I was on an inner tube, uh, being drugged by, uh, by a boat. And I hit a wave, and it launched me way up in the air, and I ended up, like, letting go of the inner tube, because I couldn't hold onto it. And when I hit the water, uh, I kind of ended up going in, like, frontwards first. And when I hit the water, my pants just flew off. And so, there I am, just, <laughs> just, uh, you know, dick floating right there in the water. No big deal. <laughs> All sorts of bad. But back, back to the story. Um, so, I remember I was working on my diving, and I had been kind of doing that on and off the whole day. And uh, there was just one air. There was this one time that I went in, and I, I, uh, I kind of got a nice, you know, nice tall dive, and I, I dove in there, and it was actually like a really clean one. Like I felt really good about it. And I, I got in there, and I hit the water, and I go under, and I got like way down towards the bottom. And uh, so I'm sitting there, and I didn't really like, I didn't want to come up right away, because I was afraid that I'd like on my way up, I'd like either like tip somebody over or. Um, or something weird would happen where I'd like, uh, where someone would maybe like kick me in the head or something because they wouldn't know that I was down there. Because when you got a, enough people in the pool, not everybody's paying attention to who's diving and who's not. But, so I'm down there, kind of like, I'm going to say like halfway down towards the bottom of the pool. It was kind of like a 10 to 12 foot area down there. And so I'm probably maybe like a third to halfway down the pool and I decided to open my eyes up because I can actually like see underwater a little bit because they didn't like over chlorinate the water so it didn't burn or anything and I remember I was just kind of like I kind of started looking around a little bit just to see if I had like safe passage to go up and I look over to my right I look over to my right I'm not fucking kidding you at all I look over to my right and like right at the at the edge of the pool on the side um there's there's this girl, and I'm assuming her boyfriend, because I couldn't see them, really. Um, but they were they were both under the water. They both decided to dive under the... Like, they just kind of went under the water a little bit. And uh, they decided to pull the same move that the people in the hot tub were doing. But instead of them trying to be, like, extra sneaky about it, they thought that this just because they were under the water, nobody was going to even notice. But um, instead of her just, like, putting her hand down, you know, down the trunks and just, you know, going freaking higgledy-piggledy right there, they decided that for whatever reason it would be a better idea if he just, like, pulled his trunks, like, all the way down to his knees, and so I, I come up out of my dive and I'm looking around and I look over and it wasn't even that far away, I'm talking, it was pretty close and they weren't really paying attention, I think they must have had their eyes closed or something, like, and I look over and, dude, I, I just look and I just see just this bird's eye view of her just freaking whacking his dick. Just full, like, full force with, like, ton, like, just mock speed. And I'm just like, ah! <laughs> like, I, I started choking on water because I just looked over and I went, <coughs> and uh And, I just, like, I came up out of the water real quick. And I was just, like, mortified. I was, like, kind of freaking out a little bit. And I, like, I, like, just sped over towards the, uh, over towards, like, the, the other side of the pool. And I got out. And I, like, walked over really quick and went and sat over on one of the, uh, <laughs> on one of the, uh, like, deck chairs there. And my friend Colby was sitting over there talking to one of his, uh, he was over there talking to his girlfriend at the time. And I, and he, like, looks over at me and he's like, he's like, are you alright? Like, What's what's your deal? Like you, you look like you saw something really weird. I was like, dude, dude. I, I was like, come over here real quick. And I, I saw that they had come up out of the pool, uh, or like they were they were still down. Like they were. I could see like I could see his head, like he had come up a little bit, but she hadn't come up yet. And I was like, dude, come over here real quick. You gotta see this. And he's like, what? And so we we run over there real quick, and I I we like look down. I was like, look what they're doing down there. And he looks down and he's like, oh my god, what the, like, why? There's a whole bunch of people in here. And, like, nobody saw it. Like, we were the only people to have noticed what was going on. Like, lifeguard and all. Like, everybody else that was there, nobody even caught on besides the two of us. <laughs> it was so gross. Oh, man. It's people, I mean, people are, uh, they're sneaky little peeps, man. But, oh, wow. I mean, he, like, they didn't even try to hide it. They're just like... They're like, oh, hey, let's go in the water, you know, you can take your pants out, we'll just really go for it, you know? <laughs> oh, man. 
so yeah, that's uh, that's my story for the day. Just uh, all sorts of weird uh, hot tub and pool hijinks, you know. People, they do things. I mean, again, if you if you can get away with it and no one finds out, more power to you. But man, if you get caught, that's one of the worst fucking things on the planet. There are not a lot of things that you, that you can have happen to you than somebody knowing that you're trying to you know that you're trying to get jiggy with it getting uh, extra frisky dingo in the pool slash uh, hot tub area. At least with the, like, I understand the hot tub. Like, that's, that one makes way more sense, because when you got the bubble jet on, dude, nobody can really see what's, what's going on down there. But a pool, like a heavily populated pool, just because you both go under the water doesn't mean that nobody can just look down and see you. <laughs> like, especially because it's not like they were really tall, and it's not like they decided to go all the way to the bottom, like, if you're gonna if you're gonna do something like that and you're gonna like go drop trow down to the knees, like you better be going all the way to the bottom. So at least if somebody looks down and sees like two big masses of people down there, like they're not gonna be able to see what's going on. Especially in like a 12 foot pool, like they'd have to actually like intently look at what's going on. And nobody would do that. No, nobody's gonna actually do that. But I just happen to be right there coming up out of a dive, and that's what I end up seeing. Ugh. Scarred me for life, man. I, I actually, I stayed away from going to pools for a little while there. I just, I was like, dude, I, after what I saw, I, I don't know if I'm comfortable doing that. <laughs> I don't know. Because, like, after we ran away, after me and my friend ran away, after I had showed him what they, what they were doing, like, I don't know exactly how much longer they stayed down there doing that. Like, I don't know if, like, they came back up for breath and went back down for more and... If there were like if there was like any bodily fluids going on there, because like, that's just all sorts of fucking gross, man. That's uh that's that would be a reason for anybody to never want to deal with uh with community pools ever again. And that was actually one of the last times I went to a community pool. I uh I, I've I've gone to like workout like to gyms where you can work out where they don't generally let people just hang out in the pool like unless you're doing lap swim in there, then you're really not. You know, you're really not just hanging out in there and with the hot tub because there's usually such a high population of people in there and not everybody's always using the bubble jet. <laughs> that's pretty hard to get around. You know, that's uh, it's not an easy task. And obviously they don't they don't have uh, they don't have um, you know they don't have co-ed steam rooms or anything where you can where you can do that either, so Yeesh. quite the uh, quite the thing. Quite the thing. Um, random thing today, by the way. For the first time, I went to Jack in the Box, um, and I got there... Well, not it wasn't my first time going to Jack in the Box. I've been there a million times. But for the first time, I decided to get their uh, their sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. And uh, and I got two of them, because they were... Uh, they were on special, two for four bucks. And they were really fucking good, man. Like, those ones were way better than, than any... Especially the ones from McDonald's, like the, the McDonald's ones, the biscuits are so dry. I've not tried the Carl's Jr. ones, but I've heard they're really good. Um, but dude, these ones were money. Like, the cheese, the cheese was melted properly, so you didn't have, like, any weird parts where the cheese was still kind of, like, kind of, like, solid and hard and weird. And, like, the sausage wasn't too greasy, but it was still, like, it was still juicy and tender, and it actually tasted, like, well-seasoned and everything, and... Like, the eggs actually tasted like real eggs, even though I'm sure they probably still came out of one of those weird, like, colostomy bag-looking things, but... Oh, my God, it was great. Oh, San Francisco rush time. Final lap. <laughs> really held out on that one uh, big time. Oh, it's the final lap, man. This is great. This is great. I mean, we're going to secure another really huge win here, and... Uh, we're going to be able to uh, really look forward to the last, the very last event in the whole, the whole Shabazz Napier. Feeling really good about it. I don't really know what car I'm going to use for it, though. I feel like i got to use something different to uh, close everything out, but I, I know it's going to be, it's going to be like a World Championship Cup thing, so I've got to, I've got to be smart in what I choose. I may, I may very well use this FTO running right into that thing, because it's just the best, you know? I mean, there's really... There's really not a lot of better cars than this. Um, I may just... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. I may, just for the sake of, of doing things, I might actually go in and buy the uh, the racing version of the GTO. Just because uh, we've not really spent any money. Like, we're still sitting way over a million, a million credits at this point. So, 
I feel like if I'm gonna do it, I might as well do it. Um, and that thing was like, what, like 600,000 credits or something? It would at least make me feel like I, I did the right thing in going out and purchasing a vehicle for the final the final installment of, of any sort of special event, you know? So, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do it. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll knock that part out in the next episode. I just wanna... I want to hit the finish line, and I want to see what um, what special car we get for, too. Because that might influence my decision a little bit, but I think ideally, no matter what we get out of this, I'm still gonna... I'm still going to, uh... Still gonna buy something. It just, uh, it, w it would feel wrong... <laughs> it felt wrong not to swing, says, uh... Says, um, Meryl from Signs. Alright, we did it! Not a very good last lap. Uh, 148. Six seconds off of, of our, uh of our best one, but eh, you know, not bad. Hey, we got it done in under an hour, though. That's that's where I'm really feeling good about it. We got the whole 30 laps done in under one hour of total race time. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. 150,000. That's, that's pretty good. We're gonna be, what, 1.3? Right abouts? Oof, 1.25. That's, that's not too bad. Alright, let's continue. Continue on, and we can, uh, we can finally see our fully decked out and completed, um, little docket here. This is this is good. Look at that! Filled to the brim with trophies. That is great. That's one of my favorite things in playing the Gran Turismo games because they show you the little icon of the trophy in every event you've won. It's so satisfying to when you actually fully fill out an area that you can see that. I mean, we haven't done it quite with this one yet. We got that World Cup on the, on the thing. So, let's, uh, let's go. What did we get? What is our prize? We got a Sylvia LM edition. Ooh. Oh my god, it's green! It's like the Dyson Sylvia all over again! I... Oh, I kinda wanna drive it. I kinda wanna drive it. Oh boy. Okay, well, we'll have to... We, we might have to use the Dice Roller app for that, man. Cause, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cause this looks really cool too, man! I love that! I love that silver! I love that silver and I love that it's, it's not as overpowered as the 900 horsepower one that we have, but it still looks cool. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. But when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo, the ultimate turning right, turning left, and driving straight simulator, we're gonna take on that GT World Cup, man. It's the thing. It is what is left for us to do. So we're gonna figure out what car we're gonna take it on with. Until then, my friends, this is your host, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. You better watch what you're doing in those pools and hot tubs, because it is, uh... <laughs> oh, that's great.